No one encourages a man to talk about his inner life. In fact, he's taught to keep his inner life a secret. Sometimes he does it so well that he doesn't acknowledge what's going on inside, even to himself. He's always had very deep feelings. As a boy, he was far more sensitive than his sister, more sensitive than the girls in his class at school. As he grew into manhood, he learned to control his powerful feelings, which is a good thing because he's also very powerful physically. If he didn't control his feelings, he might act them out in a destructive way. Instead, he learned to sublimate his feelings into positive actions, to solve problems, to fix things that were broken. When he gets flooded with emotions and doesn't know what to do, he withdraws into himself, first to calm his pounding heart, then to think of a solution. Unfortunately, whenever a man goes silent, his wife believes he's not listening at best and that he doesn't care at the worst. She has no idea that the opposite is true. So she dives in, tries to get him to talk, criticizes him for what she sees as disengagement. She tries to fix him, to give him advice. She has no idea how his heart and mind are designed and trained to work together to make the world a better place. In her attempts to offer her solutions, she creates an additional problem for him. He's trying to calm himself enough to think, and she adds more confusion to the mix. His heart keeps beating faster and faster. He can't hear her words. He has absolutely no idea what she's saying. Because human emotions always take precedence over reason, even for a man. That's why he can't hear or understand her words. And the longer he stays silent, the more effort she puts into breaking down the wall between them. She provides example after example, hoping he'll understand her desperation. He doesn't. He only knows that she's angry. He doesn't understand her fear because she doesn't sound afraid. She looks and sounds angry. So he tunes her out as best he can, not because he doesn't care, but because he's overwhelmed by too much input. In my experience working with couples for more than 25 years, I watched this scene play out in almost every marriage. The woman didn't understand her husband, and no matter how hard she tried, she couldn't make him understand her. He felt attacked, blamed, and criticized. He stayed in defensive mode so long, it became his default mode. Anything and everything she said and did had the potential to trigger his distress response. He lived more and more in default mode. She felt alone. In fact, she was alone. Her husband often disconnected emotionally. He didn't want to lash out, so he checked out or walked out. Sometimes he left the room or left the house. He would disappear physically, with no indication as to when or if he would return. Her panic would peak at that point. Instead of calming the cycle, his behavior escalated the emotional frenzy they had created together. The harder she tried to make him understand, the more overwhelmed he became. The more he withdrew in self-protection, the more intense her efforts became. Unlike her husband, she was taught to talk about her feelings, to work together to find a solution. When he didn't engage in a dialogue with her, she assumed he just didn't get it. So she offered more examples, using even more words than she did the first time, getting even more emphatic each time. Still, she got no response. Her anxiety continued to grow. Why wasn't he talking? Couldn't he see how important this was to her? She felt dismissed, devalued, denied. She was alone, believing he didn't care. Nothing she did helped, and she ran out of ideas. So she recycled her previous attempts to engage him with the same outcome, or worse. Oftentimes, the couples who came to my office had been in couples therapy before. In describing their previous experiences, they often reported that all they did was argue during their sessions. 
Very few had learned any skills and none of them had been taught how to listen to and understand the opposite sex. Their problem was glaringly obvious to me. As a woman myself, and having studied men for such a long time, I knew they were misunderstanding one another. Yes, women are complicated, but so are men. We have totally different biology, experiences, and ways of solving problems. Because I am a woman, women seem to be less complicated than men. Because I understand how our minds work. I speak the female language fluently. I can pick up on a woman's emotions by the words she uses, the rhythm of her speech, her facial expressions, her voice tone, and her body language. However, when they're not getting along, her husband only recognizes two possibilities. She's angry or she's not angry. Red light, yellow light. Full stop or proceed with caution. He doesn't speak her language, nor does he have as many words to describe his own emotions as she does hers. He doesn't understand the nuances involved in the words she chooses. He relies solely on his own pulse, which is his warning signal. Be careful. Be quiet. Or full-on danger. Fight, flight, or freeze. Now, most men freeze first. Many would rather walk away than fight, especially with their wives. For this reason, I've come to believe that a man is more complicated than a woman. Her processes, although confusing to him, are openly shared, straightforward, and seemingly obvious. She has no problem talking about what bothers her. It's true she often hides her vulnerability behind an angry facade, much like a frightened kitten when it arches its back fluffs up its fur, and hisses. The kitten tries to look tougher than it really is, and so does a woman. No wonder he doesn't ask her to tell him more. She's not making any sense. She sure doesn't look or sound vulnerable or afraid. She looks and sounds like she'd like to have him beheaded. On the other hand, a man's processes are internal. He doesn't verbalize what's happening for him, so his wife makes assumptions. Assumptions that are based on her own experiences as a woman. If she were to fall silent and get that blank look on her face, it would mean she either didn't understand or didn't care enough to want to understand. Therefore, she believes that's what he's thinking. That's why she gives so many examples, illustrations to help make her position clear. But they only muddy the water for him because it feels more like a machine gun than an explanation. Again, all he has to go on is his heart rate. He doesn't understand her language.